Hello, welcome to episode three of Practicing Pro with Michael. This episode, I'd like to talk about identifying and selecting items in ArcGIS Pro. To identify items, first click on the Explore tool up here in the Navigate box. Then click on the item you'd like to identify. A pop-up will come up identifying every layer that was under where you clicked. So in this example, I identified three objects. And as you can see up top, city limits, a character area, and a parcel. I can go through the list by clicking on the right arrow for next feature. So that's my character area, and that's my parcel. On the right hand side, I have more tools. The first one allows me to select the item on the map. So if I click here, the last item I was at was in my parcel, so I will select the parcel by clicking it. Next, the next one is flash. So if I click there, it will flash the parcel on the screen. And lastly, this icon will let me zoom to that feature. Now also underneath Explore are other options. You can explore just the topmost layer in your um, contents, which would be major roads. Um, explore selectable layers, which would be this item right here, list by selection and all of them are selectable right now. Or you could do selected in contents. What that does is see how my roads are selected in contents. If I click right here, you would think it would identify three items by default. City limits, the character area, and the roads. But right now, since I have just that item and selected in contents, if I click in here, only the road was identified. So if I go back to visible layers and I click in the same spot, I do get, well, I tried to click on the road. There we go. Three items. Roads, city limits, and character area. So those are the, what the different options are underneath Explore. Now I'd like to talk about selecting an item. Let's zoom out just a little bit. And if you just click right here, it's going to select whatever you click on. So right now it's selected um, just the top layer, which is city limits. So if I click a drag a box though, it should select everything that's there, which is a city limit, a character area, and a parcel. So if I drag a box like this, it should also select now a road. It selected six character areas, five parcels, and one road. So you can select a rectangle, which was what I was just doing, a polygon, a lasso, a circle, a line. So I click line, and if I draw a line, You see it selected those items that were in the line that I drew, four roads, a city limit, 13 character areas. So those are the different ways of selecting items. Now I want to talk about selecting by attributes. So you would just click this and it pulls up a geoprocessing tool. Now it's asking you what layer are you selecting from and it grabbed rows over here because roads were the item that's over here that's selected but we can select from anything so I'm going to say character areas so it's a new selection but you can change it to add to current selection remove from the current selection select a subset from the current selection switch the current selection or clear the current selection so I'm using new selection and now it's asking me for a new expression or a clause. So I'm going to say I want to select character areas where the character is equal to PRC, which is Park, Recreation, and Conservation. Click Run.
and it found three items. If I right click on the characters, I can zoom to layer. That would zoom to the whole character areas, but if I go to selection and then zoom to selection, it found those three items. So there are three items here that are park, recreation, and conservation. And then lastly is select by location. So for instance, I want to select roads that intersect city limits. And all the roads that intersected any city limit or inside the city limit or intersected outside are now selected. So those are the three ways of selecting items. Selecting with these tools, selecting by attributes, and select by location. Thanks for listening.